Hey everyone, it's April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and I am here with Technique Tuesday number 102. So today we got a little bit sidetracked because we went dress shopping for the first time, so we actually ended up forgetting to record our opening and closing together, but here I am, I'm still doing it, mom is still here in spirit, she is actually off playing volleyball right now, and I just got back from volleyball, so we're gonna get this out to you before she actually gets home, which is totally okay. But we have an awesome technique today for you. It is a little bit different. It's a lot simpler than a, um, a few of our past techniques, but I think still think it is a pretty cool technique to show you. So we are actually going to be creating one-of-a-kind embellishments. So that means you're going to be using your scraps today to create something to put on your page that works in place of an embellishment, a sticker, ribbon, anything like that. So we are gonna be using our zip strip and let's get started. All right, so today we are going to show you how a simple piece of extra paper that you have, AKA a zip strip or any other strip that you have, can add some embellishments to your page if you just make sure that you cut them into specific shapes, sizes, anything like that. So I took one of our 12 inch zip strips our zip strips are the little extra um, half an inch that's on top of your pattern paper. These zip strips are always wonderful. Make sure you never throw these out. They will give you extra design on your pages as you see on this one under here. Um, but they also are used to do other things exactly like I'm about to do. So this is one of our zip strips from one of our brand new paper packs coming out September 1st, so I'm not going to be telling you what paper pack I am using today, but just note that this is from one of our brand new um, Workshop Your Way kits that is coming out, so make sure you guys are watching on September 1st. So I cut that zip strip into six different two inch pieces, so I've got all of my pieces here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do something super, super simple. So this layout obviously needs something. I'm going to just take these and make them into simple crosses on my page. Just showing that it brings your eye to a different focal point on your paper. And I'm just gonna do them in a line for now. But just bring, doing something simple like that, even taking your shimmer brush or anything, putting maybe you put a clear sparkle in the middle of them, Something like that is going to draw your eye more to those spots on your page. Also, if you wanted to highlight a picture more, like I have the picture of Brendan and I here, I can put this more into the center of the page, and if you're using our eye, the, um, the rule of thumb for the three different focal points, I can take this and use that triangular pattern and create it so it is now surrounding a photo on your page. So if this is a four by six photo I have here, if you take it by five by seven or an eight by 10, even on this page, it will bring that focal point in more towards your picture. So just using something super simple, let's say you don't have any embellishments or anything around you, just take your extra scraps, scrap pieces of paper, you could even take it if it's skinnier, anything like that, do the same exact thing and add it on to a page and it will make your page pop a little bit more. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I know it is a super simple technique, but I think it really does bring out a lot in your page, page layouts, cards. It can be used on anything, really. So make sure that you are tuned in on Thursday for Throw It Together Thursday, where we will be throwing our last techniques together in a beautiful card and a few other things, a layout as well with the texture paste and the splatter paint. So the splatter shimmer brush, that's what I meant. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Also make sure that you check out our weekend page on justsayscrap.wordpress.com slash weekends. Our registration is up there, so make sure you check it out and join us on our weekend, December. So, all right, we'll see you on Thursday, bye. Okay, I guess we're starting. I'm just gonna take right. one of our simple zip. I have to take off. Get six p. Oh my god, I have to take off. Have to create your own own embellishment. Make this this week.